and the Dubrunic Channel is back and today we are looking at Lake Inglebright from Steve and he got some video yesterday kindly and if you want to help Steve out look in the description below and you can definitely help him out by sending money to his cash app he will gladly accept it and he definitely appreciates it he doesn't get much money truthfully he probably doesn't even break even on this venture but he is grateful to help the channel and we appreciate it and with your help, you definitely can help him with some gas money, help him get up. He's planning on going to Shasta. Be looking out for that video coming up. Let's help Steve out and give him a little bit of cash to help his way. And we'll continue to roll on here. We are going out to windy.com and you can see that California in the next three days, the atmospheric rivers have moved to Oregon and they actually need a break. So this is good news. And I want to check the temperature for the next several days to see what's going on. You can see that it's starting to warm up in California and that means the snow melt's going to start happening more frequent and Steve says maybe by May we could see rapid snow melt and this could be a problem if there's any rainstorms that hit this is going to be a problem but luckily it doesn't look this way let's hope for a nice easy melt as we continue on you can see that it is 40 degrees there was a little bit of cold right through here and that's on that's not very chilly I mean it is below freezing barely but you can see that things are starting to warm up up is we are getting closer and closer to summer and before you know it over here we are going to have a ton of melt coming from the snow we will be looking at the snow maps here in a minute and we keep on rolling here i want to go back to the rain accumulation for the next several days you can see the next three days not much the next five days very little the next 10 days very little in california just mainly the the northwest up here the northwest corner of california gets a little bit maybe a little bit down here but not a whole lot a little bit in the rocky the gfs is it agreeing pretty much it's saying about the same thing it's not giving the rockies near as much precipitation i want to go to the tropical tidbits and see what the next 16 days for the gfs is saying next here we are at tropical tidbits and you can see that very little rain coming just the northwest corner of california a lot in oregon a lot in washington a little bit in the rocky mountains a little bit here in the midwest not a whole lot we'll we'll keep on going you can see it's just getting drier and drier a little another system comes through here another system scooting through and uh, you're already out 330 hours and we go to the 366 384 you can see maybe a low pressure starting to spin here and it's not very impressive not like we were getting back in january february march just not the same kind of storms coming through i think our atmospheric rivers have shut down for a while and that's good because everything is saturated out there the majority of the state's out of drought i do know that i want to go out to lake inglebright here and check that out now here we are at lake inglebright water level and you can see that the water level is 528.70 feet msl and you can see this lake really fluctuates they really dropped the lake quite a bit in january for the storms it came back up they dropped it again it's come back up and now they're starting to drop it you can see that it kind of fluctuates pretty quickly it's on the yuba river it's controlled by the army corps engineer it says right here so that's what's going on there and here's the drought monitoring you can see it's abnormally dry here in the middle of California and moderately dry over here you have only one little sliver of severe drought and that's right over here this is less but we definitely are scooting out now some people will disagree with this and some people won't but this is what they're telling us this was taken april 4th 2023 let's go see what the snowpack is and see if they updated those levels next the last update was done on april 7th and you can see it's 200.03 for the north 243 for the central 306 in the south your april 1st date is already passed so i'm not sure how that works beyond that you still have the average snow water equivalents 50 8.5 inches so there's still a ton of water locked up in the snowfall in the central in the central you have 62.5 in the south you have 63.3 inches of average snow water equivalent and for the statewide it's 61.7 inches that's just incredible and a lot of people think there's going to be a big flood with the temperatures warming up it is going to start melting fairly quickly i would think because snow just doesn't last during warm weather we will see what happens there and now we're going to go out to the graphs that i have built been working really hard on that i just about have them automated where they will do it daily a couple more little tweaks and i think i got it and that'll be good that'll keep me from having to spend hours upon hours 
updating these graphs daily for all you folks. So let's go out to my PowerPoints here and we will be doing a presentation right now. Here we are at Lake Oroville Stats and we start off at your Lake Oroville Hourly and you can see that Lake Oroville is currently at 2,972,438. The outflows currently are only 5,671. Your inflows are 13,959. You have received 35.68 inches of precipitation since the beginning of the wet season. That is really impressive. It's hard to believe. And we continue to the next slide here. And here we are at the lake level 21, 22. And this year, you can see where they started releasing water. And now they're slowly letting it creep back up. So we'll see where it ends up. Here's a live video from Lake Oroville. You can definitely tell that the spillway is not releasing near as much CFS as it once was. So we'll be watching that. I'm sure they got a good handle on Lake Oroville. And let's continue to roll on to today's level next. We are Lake Oroville's water level. And the water level today at Lake Oroville is currently 861.95 feet MSL. Sunday, April 9, 2023 at 11 a.m. The level is 38.05 feet below full pool of 900. Changes since yesterday. This thing has come up 0.57 and we are out to Lake Folsom next. And you can see Lake Folsom, its current water storage capacity is, and this was at the 12 o'clock hour. They haven't put anything here on this hour. Your inflows are 7,507. Your outflows are 8,678. And we continue to roll on here. And now we're going to go to Folsom's graph here, 2021-22. And then this year, you can see that it's currently right here. And that's what we got going on at Folsom. We are at Lake Folsom here. And the Folsom water level today is 436 point four five feet MSL Sunday April 9 2023 at 11 a.m. The level is 29.55 feet below full pool of 466. Changes since yesterday the level has come down 0.02 and now we are out to Lake Shasta next and here we go. Lake Shasta's current storage acre feet is 3,977,025. Your outflows are 25. Your inflows are 17,257. That's what's going on there. And now we're at Lake Shasta, you can see 21, 22, and then this year it's really come up, and this is where we're at. We're well above 1,040. We're getting close to 1,050. We are getting really close, and this is really interesting. Check this out. The water level today at Lake Shasta is currently 1,046.92 feet MSL Sunday, April 9, 2023, 12 p.m. The level is 20.08 feet below full pool of 1,067. We are really, really close. We're almost 20 feet away. That is insane. Who would have thought that we would have been 20 feet back in October? I guarantee you not very many people here would have. I sure heck wouldn't. This is pretty impressive. What a turnaround this has been. We're going really close to being at full pool, and this is going to be a fantastic summer for anybody that's talking about recreation out there that's going to be good and we'll be waiting to see what happens changes since yesterday this thing's come up another 0.82 feet almost another foot in the last 24 hours is pretty impressive lake trinity is our final stop today and you can see the water level really went down in 21 and 22 and then this year you can see it's starting to climb it's higher than it was last year but it's still a long way to go and I, all i can think is that a lot of this water is locked up in the mountains up there because there's no way that Shasta has come up. They're not too far apart as far as that goes, but yet the water levels hasn't come up much, but it has come up some. Let's go look and see what the current inflows are compared to your outflows. We are currently at Lake Trinity, and you can see that the storage acre feet is 915,082. Your outflows are 1,089. Your inflows are 3,449. And we continue to roll on here. Lake Trinity's water level is currently 2,245. 5.30 feet MSL Sunday, April 9, 2023 at 12 p.m. The level below the glory hole is currently 124.70 feet of 2,370. And I was getting ready to close out the video and I forgot that I need to go check out the current water levels amongst the state real quick. Also, as I was making this video, Steve texted me with another video that he took today from Cache Creek and we are going to check that out right now. And then as we do that, I'll be loading up the last little bit here for the water levels at around the state here and we're going to go do that currently as we go around the state you can see shad
test is 87%. It is higher than Lake Oroville currently at 84. New Bullard's Bar is 83. Folsom is at 69%. Trinity is still at a whopping 37%. 50% for the date. That's not very good. Shasta is 108 for the date. Lake Oroville is 116. And then Pines Flat 63. Millerton's probably the next lowest at 47%. You have one in the 30s, one in the 40s. New Malone's in the 50s. Every else in the state seems to be doing around 65 70 percent which is fantastic and i hope you enjoyed steve's video don't forget to throw him some cash on the cash app and that is all i have thank you guys for stopping by i hope you enjoyed the video and we will see you on the next one god bless